What's going on everybody? My name is Fantiga. I hope today you're doing well and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today in Grand Theft Auto Online's video, we are customizing the Vapid Peyote as you can see here. But you might be already thinking, this thing already looks sick. This thing is already customized to the T and you know what? You're actually right. I've got these nice little fenders. I've got these beautiful wheels with the big white trim. I've got the spare back tire. I've got this nice steering wheel, and I've even got the Zebra print seats inside of my car. But guys, with the Los Santos Summer DLC, they have actually re-released this car. We can actually take it to Benny's, and we can customize it even further. So I'm really looking forward to that, guys. I hope you are as well. Now we're going to come down to the Benny's Original Motorworks website, and as you can see here, we have the Vapid POD for a huge, guys, this is such a really expensive car, $38,000. Now guys, when we go and upgrade, it's going to be a lot more, but this is where we pick up this car for today's video. Now, I actually really, really like the Vapid Pay OD. Look, it's been in the game since the game's been released. It's like, what, seven years or something crazy like that? Just right from the bat, this car actually had some really nice customization. Back when the game first came out, lots of cars didn't have nice customization and stuff. It was just sort of what it was, and you might be able to put a spoiler or something on top of it. But it wasn't too crazy, but there were a few cars that just stood out in terms of customization. And the Vapid Peyote was definitely one of them. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with it when I can take it to Benny's. the vehicle we're going to upgrade Benny's original motorworks and guys that's where all the money comes from this is six hundred and twenty thousand dollars for the upgrade but I'm sure it's gonna be well worth it boom slap that on let's go I don't think anything changed then I might be wrong I don't think anything just changed I just spent 620 grand for some hydraulics what the hell is that about now the interior actually has changed on the inside I can see that I no longer have those zebra print stripes which is a little bit sad I'm not gonna lie all right guys got some different aerials that we can put on <laughs> the globe aerials yes this is the biggest pimp car Ever. I love this so much. Look, we're going to go the chrome tank. This car's got some nice chrome on it. Anyway, let's do that. Now, I've already got the spare wheel on it. So that's not too much to change there. At Oh, we've got some side exhaust. What are we going to do? Some side ones there. Some jewel. Okay, that looks mean. All right, we're going the jewel shotgun exhaust. That looks really sick on the back there. What about the fenders? All right, we've got the curved fenders again. I had them originally. I guess we're going to throw those back on to the car. Now, we have different grills. It looks like I already had that one attached. And let's see if there's brand new hoods. So, there's a few new ones. It's basically just the engine sticking out. I just like the cow hood. I mean, I basically had the car how it was. And it really hasn't changed that much. Now, I've already got the hydraulics in there. I don't think it's worth paying for more but uh, that's just in my opinion. We'll come back to the livery later. What about the... Oh, oh, oh. All right, that is sick. That is mad. Custom roof number two. We might be going with that, guys. I do want to see what the liveries do 
look like. All right, what's in the trunk? We've got a speaker system. This looks insane. My favorite looking one is the twin sub trunk in stall. $35,000, you know, just cheap. Not a lot of money there at all. Uh, look, there's no window, so we don't need to worry about that. And that is basically the car customized. That's a really, really quick one. Let's check out the different liveries for this car. We've got the pristine. All right, going through here. I mean, yeah, fair enough. Hellfire. That looks pretty cool. I quite like the Hellfire. That is my favorite looking one. That very much reminds me of the livery on the Sabre Turbo, though it might be exactly the same livery. I'm not sure. So I have decided to go with the Tranquility uh, livery here. I think it's really nice. And for the primary color, I have got the metallic shaft of purple. I think it looks really nice really sick now we can actually change the interior of this car which is pretty cool i actually do like it stuck but frankly when we swap over the seats and stuff it doesn't change this really nice dash here this dash is beautiful i'm glad it hasn't changed now we've got all these luxury type options oh we've got the padded now i actually like how it changes the door so i think i'm going a padded option i'm not sure exactly which one yet possibly the luxury padded leopard now we can actually make the trim color all kinds of crazy colors, the pinks, the reds, the oranges. I think I'm going to just leave it white though. Otherwise, it's just a little bit too crazy for my liking. Now we can actually change the dial design here. I don't want to mess around with it, guys. I just like that classic look. I am leaving that how that works. Is now in terms of the steering wheel, I'm not too sure what I want to go here. I do quite like the got wood option there, but I guess we'll see in just a moment. Going with the eight ball column shifter, that looks cool, that looks unique. And we've got some different plugs. Let's see if there's one that we like. I do actually quite like the bores, and I do have the bores guy at the front. It might actually be that. We're going to have to to see it says this is Boz neon it doesn't look too neon to me but that's the one we're going with right now we've got some ice ice must st stand for speakers or something we're going to go with the integrated shelf speaker that actually looks really really sick now we can actually change the color of the lights i might actually change this i might make this a nice pink looking color okay apparently it's in a different order here bright purple that's a bit hard to see isn't it beast that looks sick now the wheels guys there's already some nice wheels on there we'll see uh what these benny ones can actually do for us as well no i don't normally but i really like this big bar option here i think it suits the car guys we're slapping that on wheel color let's see what we can do here all right changes the inside there see if there's anything that looks okay no that looks like absolute garbage what about one of the purple options here no that's also not great either unfortunately i might leave it just 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 plain i like it plain that sounds really stupid, I know. Alright, let's try the lines. Do I like the lines? Alright, we're going to go just the small white lines. That gives it some taste. We've already got the purple smoke on it. Let's take this car for a spin. We're taking it out of Benny's and this thing... We've just drove out of Benny's and this thing actually looks absolutely insane. It's got... So many different colors on it. It's got the pink. It's got white. It's got black. It's got blue. It's got purple. It's got yellow. It's got chrome. This vehicle is actually really, really sick. When I was customizing it, I found like, you know, just the spare wheel and stuff was already all there. I was a little bit disappointed with that. Honestly, I sort of paid for... I paid $600,000 
for a paint job and some interior upgrades if I am honest with you. But I like the car. It looks sick. I really, really like the, uh, the Speedo and stuff. That looks absolutely insane to me. That classic old look. Yeah, guys, I am a fan of this car for sure. We are flying down the road here. I always like to come down here. I like to see how the uh, cars can actually drive quick downhill. Yeah, this is a serious case of understeer. Here, it just goes straight off the road. It is a low rider, of course. It's not a performance car. But drifting it just really, really doesn't work well. It just wants to swing out sideways, which is cool, which is fun. But, you know, in terms of racing and that sort of thing, I don't think it's going to be too great. It is definitely just a cruising car. I didn't even try to drift there. Just going around that corner too quickly makes this car spin out. Now we are on the dirt, and of course I have to be careful yeah, now the brakes really aren't great. This car takes a long time to slow down and speed up at, you know, making that worth a mention. But actually driving it on the dirt, it's not too bad. I mean, don't try and drift it. If you try and drift this thing off the dirt like I just did then, you're just going straight into a wall. Uh, but, uh, no, I've done it again. All right. This car's cheap for driving in on the dirt. Fuck me! <laughs> if you have enjoyed the video, everyone, make sure to leave a like and comment down below which livery you would have picked for the Vapid Peity Custom. Now, if you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more, guys, just click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload brand new videos on GTA Online, just like this one. And finally, guys, if you want to see me customize more cars right now, you just can't wait. Guys, click on the playlist above.